This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Nick Quattrini. Here's the latest from WENY and the Star Gazette. A reward fund has been started for the return of a stolen piece of history in Elmira. According to the Star Gazette, Mayor Elmira Mayor Sue Skidmore and a few council members are pitching in for the Mark Twain plaque to be returned to Woodlawn Cemetery. The bronze plaque was reported stolen on Friday and was created by Mark Twain's daughter in 1937. If you have any information about the plaque, call the Elmira Police Department. A decision on whether to raise or eliminate the minimum wage paid to servers and other tipped workers in New York State could come soon. A state board reviewing the so-called tip wage will meet Thursday. The board is expected to soon issue its recommendation to the state's labor commissioner who has the authority to eliminate the wage. The wage is about $5 an hour for most work tipped workers. State law allows restaurants, hotels and other employers to pay servers, busboys and housekeepers less than the state's $8.75 minimum wage as long as their tips make up the difference. In an attempt to stop gas and oil drilling on public lands in Pennsylvania, and the attempt has been turned down, the Commonwealth Court rejected a 2012 lawsuit by the Pennsylvania Environmental Defense Foundation. The foundation wanted to stop drilling in state parks and forests. The court says the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources has authority over leasing decisions. Officials from Governor Tom Corbett's administration says the ruling is a win for state government. Now here's meteorologist Craig Flint with today's forecast. Nick, good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. On the webcast, 17 will be the high today. Now, there's still going to be a wind. See that? Southwest 10 to 15, so that will provide us with a wind chill as we head into the afternoon. Now, it's not going to be sub-zero like it is this morning where we're about 10 below the actual real field temperature, what it feels like during the afternoon. I think wind chills improve uh, 0 to 10 above. We should see some sunshine as well. Now, if there's going to be a couple flurries or snow showers floating through, that would occur this morning and then uh, a little bit better the afternoon. So the wind chill advisory, that's through 10. And it's pretty much everyone here across the Twin Tiers. You can see uh, the blue shaded counties here. Um, wind chill advisory. Now, just because it expires at 10 doesn't mean there won't be a wind chill today. You know, we're still going to be seeing wind chills 0 to 10 above. They're just not going to be sub-zero this afternoon. So at least a little bit better, not quite as bitter as we head into this afternoon. Here's future track. 3 o'clock, quiet. Now, overnight tonight, a new swath of snow will slide through here. And it's not coming at a very good time late tonight first thing tomorrow morning and temperatures will be in the teens as you wake up Friday morning. Salt on the roadways not as effective as it would be say if you had a temperature of 32. So bottom line is early Friday morning first thing Friday morning some of the roadways might be a little icy and dicey for a little while and then it's just scattered snow showers through the rest of the day Friday and a little bit of sunshine coming out too. Now there's going to be another reinforcing push of cold air behind Friday's little uh, snow event here. So Saturday's highs, excuse me, let me back up and say Friday night will be in the teens, or I should say single digits, and we'll start out in the single digits Saturday morning. Saturday's high, teens, Saturday night's low, single digits. So that's that reinforcing push of cold air coming in. Uh, and then Sunday it should start to ease finally, right, after uh, what has been a kind of tough go of it with wind chills below zero and air temperatures in the teens. That looks like it'll go away here as we head into uh, early next week. Check it out here with your seven day forecast. So teens today and Saturday, blustery and cold, snowy in the morning, Friday 24, six at night, nine Saturday night, but then the cold eases. 30 Sunday, clouds, or I should say sunshine over to clouds, maybe a little scattered snow on Monday, 32. More sun, though, by Tuesday, slightly colder, 29, and near 30. Some late-day flakes Wednesday. Nick? 
Thanks, Craig, for the latest news, weather, and sports. Be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 536 and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. Nick Wachurney, have a great day.